Hey guys, welcome to part six of the Angular 2 and Firebase app series. In the last video, we went ahead and uh, I believe we did the authentication. So we can now log in with Google. And if we, you do it once, and you can just click this again and it will automatically uh, log you in. And now you can see we can go to the listings, which we can see here, and also add listing, which we still have yet to, to, to add that form. Now one thing I want to do before we move on to the, the listing details page is take care of this because right now this isn't doing anything. Basically we just need to add a login function to, uh, to the home component because that's what this is. Okay, so let's first go to components, home, and then the HTML. And we're going to go to where we have the button here and just add a click, uh, a click event. And we're going to set that to the login function. Okay, so we'll save that and then we'll go to our home component TS file. And we're going to have to bring in a couple things. Uh, first of all, we need to bring in Angular Fire so that we can do the actual login. So that's going to be from Angular Fire 2. And then we also want to bring in the flash message service or messages service. And that's going to be from Angular 2 flash messages. And then we're just going to add those as um, dependencies. So we'll say public AF, set that to Angular Fire. And then public flash message, set it to flash, uh, whoops, no, that's not what I want, flash messages service. And then let's create the login function. And all we need to do here is say this.af.auth.login. And that should do it. So let's save that, go back to our application, and now if we click that, it should log us in as well. Okay, I'll log out, log back in. Oh, you know what, we just need to remove the href from this right here. All right, so now click that, and it logs us in. So now what we want to do is we want to work on the details page. When we click on this, it goes to listing slash and then the, the key or the ID. Um, so let's go to our listing component. So it's going to be listing, the singular version. And let's open up the TS file. Close those up. So we'll open up the TS file. And we're going to bring in the Firebase service that we created. So we're going to import Firebase service from, and let's go up two levels to the services folder, and then Firebase.service. And then we also want to import some stuff from the router. So we want router, we want activated route, and we want params. And that's going to all be from the Angular slash router. Because basically we need to be able to grab this ID right here and then make a, um, a request through our service with that ID. So let's add our de uh, dependencies in the constructor or in the constructor parameters. So we'll say private Firebase service and set that to Firebase service. And then let's do private router and set that to router. Okay, and then we have one more. We're going to say private route and set that to that activated route. Oh, activated. So there's our dependencies. Now we want to fetch the ID from the URL. So we're going to go into on ng on init. 
So we'll say this.id and set it to this.route.snapshot.params. And then the param we want is the ID. Now we need to add ID as a property. So up here, let's just add ID. Um, and we'll just give it an any type. So I, ID any. Let's also add listing. That's going to be a property as well. And also the image URL is, but yeah, I guess we can add that image URL. Okay, so now, now that we have the ID, we want to create a service function to get the listing details. So let's say this uh, dot Firebase service dot get listing details, which we did, we haven't created yet, but we will. And it's going to be a um, observable, so we want to subscribe. Okay, and we're just going to pass the ID into here as well. So we'll say this dot ID, and then in the subscribe, we're going to get back listing, and then we'll create a code block, and we'll set this dot listing to listing. That's returned. Now we're also going to have to get a reference to the image when it's in the storage of Firebase, but we're not going to do that yet. So I'm just going to put a comment here and we'll say um, to do storage ref. All right, so let's save that and then we'll create the get listing details. So let's go to our service. And right here we'll say get listing details and that's going to take in the ID and then we want to do this uh, actually know what we're going to do is instead of using this firebase list observable we're going to use firebase object obser observable so we want to import that as well because instead of getting a list we're going to get an object And we'll have to put that here as well. So let's paste that in. And this is going to be just listing. And we're going to set it to Firebase Object Observable. OK, so then down here, let's set this.listings, or I'm sorry, this.listing, and then set it to this.af.database dot list I'm sorry not list object okay and then let's see we're gonna put in here slash listings because we want a listings collection and then slash and then we'll concatenate the ID and let's say as firebase object observable and that's also gonna have a type of listing but we're not going to put the brackets in there because it's not an array. It's going to be a single object. And then let's go on the next line and say return this dot listing. OK, so that should return the single listing to us. So let's save that. And back in our component, let's also let's just console log this to make sure we're getting it. And if we look down here, you can see we're getting the object. If we go to a different one, let's go to this one, we get that object. So we now have access to all this data inside of our listing template. So let's go to that. That'll be listing.component.html. And first thing I'm going to add up here at the top is a link to go back. So let's say A, and we'll set the router link. Let's set that equal. And we'll say we want to go back to listings. OK, 
Okay, then we'll put a line break and let's put an H2. We'll give it a class of page header, which is a bootstrap class. And then this is going to have the title. So we'll use this interpolation. We'll say listing dot title. And then let's put a small tag. Can't type. And in here, we're going to have this, the city of the listing. So listing dot city. Okay, let's just see if that works. Uh, let's see, let me just reload, go to listings. And there we go, we have the title and the city and we can go back. Good, so now let's finish up the rest of this page. I'm gonna put a row class here. And then we're gonna have two columns. So this one's gonna be a four column div. So call MD four. That's gonna be where the image goes, whoops. And then we'll have an eight column div next to it where the rest of the data will go. Now we're not gonna do the image just yet because we're not working with storage yet, but we'll just say image here. And then we'll put the rest of the data over here. So let's do a UL, give it a class of list group. And let's do LI class list group item. And let's see, in here we're going to put the owner listing dot owner. And then let's just copy this. Then we'll do the bedrooms. And then we'll do the type. And then the price. All right, and then let's see what else we're gonna have. We're also gonna have an edit and delete. So I guess we can put those, but we're not gonna add the functionality just yet. So down here, let's put an A tag and give it a class of BTN and BTN default. For now, we'll just say href to nowhere. And that's gonna be edit and then let's put another a tag and that'll be delete and we just want to give this a class as well of btn and btn danger all right so let's save that we're going to have to just uh, reload and then go to our listing and now we get over here all the information, the data, we have our buttons here, and the image will go here. So in the next video, we're going to create the form on the ad listing page. We'll be able to upload an image to storage, and we'll be able to put that image in the listing as well. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next.